fifth studio album from Billy Talent is called Afraid of Heights. It comes out on July the 29th, and the band is headlining What the Fest on Saturday, June the 25th at Lions Park in Brantford. I have the lead singer of Billy Talent on the line, Ben Kowalowitz. How's it going, Ben? It's going great. How are you? I'm doing all right. So I understand you're calling from, from Europe right now? No, we actually just got back from Europe last night. Uh, we did a three-week mind-blowing festival run there, and uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, we're back home, and I'm up at the cottage. Uh, might be having a cold one in the sunshine. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it's a, you know, I don't know how the weather is up there, but uh, down here in Hamilton, it's beautiful. So it's, it looks like it's going to be a good weekend. It's a thing, yeah. It's a beautiful sunny day, and uh, really happy to be back on uh, on home soil. And yeah, but uh, it was an amazing. Amazing couple of weeks, that's for sure. So we got this uh, this new record, Afraid of Heights. It's the fifth studio album from you guys. Did you uh, did you take a different approach with this record? Now, how do you approach making a new entry into the Billy Talent catalog? Ah, well, that's uh, that's a good question. Um, man, I kind of don't even know where to begin. We we you know we we needed to take some time off after the last record because uh, we more or less from the time we recorded the record to the you know we did about twenty months of touring. And then uh, when we came home, we all needed to kind of cool our jets and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, get recharged. So Ian, who is obviously the main songwriter and guitar player of the band, uh, had some ideas. And then literally we were hanging out and started jamming some ideas and playing some stuff. And then it kind of, you know, once you get kind of one done, then another one comes and then another one. And then, you know, over about a year and a half, we ended up stockpiling all these amazing songs. Um, but it wasn't. It was definitely a, a really challenging record in, in in a lot of ways. And one being that uh, Aaron, who is uh, our beloved drummer and my best friend, uh, has been suffering from MS for the last 15 years and has never really had any major uh, setbacks. Had a major setback, and uh, he, you know, about a month or two before we were originally supposed to go in the studio, kind of said that he he can't do it. And uh, so that kind of threw a dagger into all of our hearts in every way, shape, and form. And so we eventually, you know, in the beginning, we just thought, you know, we'll we'll just wait. Like, we're just going to not do anything, and we'll wait and and see how it works out. But unfortunately, with Aaron's MS and and his type of MS, you know, you don't know if you're going to be better in six weeks, six months, or six years, or ever. Right. You know, so after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears... Um, you know, and a lot of discussions. He he wanted us to to move forward and record the record, and um, so we made a decision to do that, which was obviously really hard. And uh, unanimously, we decided on asking our friend uh, Jordan Hastings, who plays in Alex on Fire, if he would be willing to play on the record. And um, him being the wonderful, gracious, talented man that he is, uh, uh, was completely. Uh, you know, very sensitive to the situation and didn't want to have to do it, but uh, accepted. And he played on the on the whole record, which was yeah, he did an amazing job. And so it was it was it, there was a lot of push and pull happening, but it all the end result is you know uh, probably one of the finest things that we've ever done in our in our career. And we're so excited and so proud of it, and can't wait to actually share it with people. And we're excited to hear it. What what were you trying to get across lyrically on this album? You know, you you know, Billy Town has had some political songs in the past and some more personal songs. Where were you coming from lyrically? Uh, you know, this record was was. I mean, I, it, it's kind of hard to articulate in 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 every way, shape, and form. But you know, it it, it there was a lot of things happening around the world, and uh, we. You know, Ian again is the main songwriter, and he he took the spearhead uh, charge on a lot of the lyrics on the record, which is great. Um, and you know, we talk about from uh, you know gun control, which uh, ironically this week seems to be uh, even more important of a discussion to uh, to the Syrian you know the refugee crisis, to to the Donald Trumps of the world, to the. Uh, um, to our relationship with the planet and how we're, we need to kind of repair that one quickly to, um, you know, more or less some about being afraid to taking it to the next level as people and as, as humans and as society and how we need to start exercising a little bit more love and empathy and, and tolerance and acceptance and that, uh, you know, like-minded people need to stick together and 
and to to you know kind of to be the future and uh, not live in the the, the foot uh, or the shadows of our of our parents' generation, you know. So it's a pretty heavy record, uh, but I think there's a lot of topics on there that uh, need to be discussed, and uh, and hopefully people embrace it with an open heart and an open mind. Um, we got what the fest coming up in Brantford. You guys are headlining on uh, June the 25th. Yeah. Well, what, what can Billy Talent fans expect from the show and the set list? Is there going to be a, a healthy mix of new songs and uh, and past hits in there? Yeah, I hope there's no curfew because we're just going to play for as long as we can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we just got back from Europe, and uh, fortunately, the last uh, one of the last shows we played was a big festival called the Download Festival in, uh, in uh, Donington in the UK, which is kind of a iconic grounds. And uh, we're fortunate enough to play on the same day as um, as the Monster Truck Boys, and so we got to hang out with them and uh, have a couple of beers after the show, and everyone's uh, really excited for Saturday. So that we, we were talking about how it's just, funny how we can be in like a rainy backstage in you know donnington england and the next time we'll see them will be you know a week or two later in uh, in brantford so we're all very excited both bands are very excited to, to get there and so just have a a good night of rock and roll music you know because i think that seems to be <laughs> seems to be missing nowadays in the world so um is there a difference between the crowds you play to uh, over in europe and the ones that you play to here at home uh, you know, I think in the global age of communication where everyone is kind of drawing from the same well, uh, no, like people, like, you know, people, well, besides like accents and uh, the cultural differences, uh, but no, I think people, you know, people love to just, uh, let their hair down and, and, uh, and freak out and jump around and, and have a good time. I think nowadays it's even more important for, for people to just have fun, you know, and, so um, from what we've seen, the reaction from the new songs, that uh, you know, it's it, it's been great, and I expect nothing less than uh, than that on Saturday when we play, because I think it's going to be a, a good old-fashioned rock and roll show. Right on, and uh, we're, we're coming up on Canada Day really soon. What are Billy Talent's uh, Canada Day traditions? Do you guys do anything special for for, uh, for our nation's holiday? Um, I mean, we've done some shows in the past, which have always been great, um, but not recently. We, we've uh, We've been home, which is weird. Or oh no, the last Canada Day we uh, we were in Budapest. Wow! Oh, and it, it ended with us screaming, you know, "Spirit of the West" songs. <laughs> <laughs> nice, very uh, Canadian of you. The hours of the morning, yeah. Uh, but no, Canada Day for me is uh, you know no different than than most people, I guess. You know, we head up north and uh, yeah. sit around a fire and and uh, have some fun. Awesome. Uh, summer festival season is here. The new record is coming out. What else is on tap for Billy Talent in 2016? Can we expect a headlining tour? Maybe see you guys back in Hamilton at some point? Uh, all of that is happening. Um, I don't know exact dates. I don't know. Uh, that's all kind of being finalized right now. Uh, but we just we did just find out uh, <laughs> a couple of days ago, which is pretty crazy, that we're actually opening up for, uh, for Guns N' Roses at the Rogers Center on July 16th. So that's... Uh, I'm still a bit of <laughs> shock. That's amazing. That. But uh, yeah, so we just found out the show got announced yesterday. So July 16th, we'll we'll be opening for uh, for Guns N' Roses. That just <laughs> sounds weird, even coming out of my mouth. But, that, yeah, that's awesome. Did you guys grow up Guns N' Roses fans? Is this kind of like a dream come true for you guys? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're all. I think you know we grew up. I was born in '75, so you know when Appetite came out, it was '87, I guess. So yeah, that was like. Uh, I remember hearing it for the first time and then my my older brother, you know, playing it for me. And then, yeah, I mean, John, bass player, is probably one of the reasons why he started playing bass is because his friend was playing Sweet Child of Mine and he wanted to figure out how to play it on bass so he could play with his friend on guitar and he's never looked back, you know. And same with Ian. Like, Ian Slash is one of Ian's, like, uh, you know, top five favorite guitar players. So, yeah, all in all, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a... <laughs> it's quite enough. We can't. So I, I kind of still can't believe it. Like we, we knew our name was in the hat for it, but you know, so it was everyone else's name. You know, and uh, we had the pleasure of hanging out with Duff a couple years ago in Australia when we were doing some shows there, and he was there doing some shows. And he ended up coming to our headline show in Sydney and, and watching the band and hanging out. And he was like an absolute gentleman and uh, a joy to be around. So I'm wondering if maybe he had some uh, had some help. <laughs> Yeah, get those Billy Talent boys on the bill. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sent him a note yesterday just saying thank you, and you know, yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah. So we're 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 over the moon about that, but uh, you know, we're also excited for the for the coming uh, you know the next the next couple of weeks and and playing what the fest and and getting up there because we've never played never played in Brantford, so it should be a, it should be a good night. Awesome. Well, Ben Kowalowitz of Billy Talent headlining at What the Fest at Lions Park in Brantford on June the 25th. Uh, tickets and info at uh, WTFest.ca. And then, you know, uh, opening up for Guns N' Roses on July the 16th, which is amazing. <laughs> so, it sounds weird. It sounds weird, but it's <laughs> awesome. I, I, I dig it. I, you know, it I, works. If I knew you guys were, like, playing the show with them, I would have been right on those tickets when they came out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you know, we're, uh, yeah, still, still kind of blown away by, the, by it. So. Right and again, it's nice. But uh, rock and roll is still, still alive and well. It definitely is. Well, thanks so much for chatting with me, Ben, and we're looking forward to seeing you at What the Fest. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for taking the time and the support. We really appreciate it.